Hello, welcome to a very quick video on Pythagorean Theorem and Distance. We've reached video number 45. First, we're going to start by reviewing how to uh, uh, use the Pythagorean Theorem to solve for missing sides of a triangle. Um, as we saw in class, there are two basic problems. The first type of problem is illustrated in uh, Part A, and that's when the hypotenuse is missing. So if, when, when we find x in this first triangle, it's the hypotenuse we're solving for. Then the other kind of problem is when we're missing a leg. In, in problem B, uh, x represents the missing side of a leg. So two fundamental types of problems. And there are all kinds of Pythagorean theorem problems, but usually they boil down to one of these two. Okay, so let's solve the first one. So realizing that uh, this is the uh, leg, x takes the role of c, we can let a be 7 and b be 2. a and b are the legs, c represents the hypotenuse. So the theorem says that the square of a plus the square of b is the square of c. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 7 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. And we get 49 plus 4 is c squared. Or c squared equals 53. So now we need the square root because this is asking what number times itself. It's asking c times itself is 53. What does c have to be? Okay, job of square root. So to solve this, we do c equals square root of 53. Now, we should try to simplify it, but 53 is prime. It's not divisible by 4, 9, 16, any of the perfect squares. So it's actually done. That's simplified. Okay, on this one, when we substitute into uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, I'll let 5 be a, and I have to let 11 be c since that's the hypotenuse. x is kind of in the position of b. Okay, so 5 squared plus x squared, x is the other leg, represents the length of the other leg, equals 11 squared. So this is just one step more than the other side. I see that I have to subtract 5 squared from both sides. Let me write in what the values are first. So I get 25 plus x squared equals 121. Now I subtract 25 from both sides. So when we're solving for a missing leg, we have this subtraction step. We get x squared equals 96. Okay, so x equals the square root of 96. I know at least 4 goes into that. Actually, 16 goes into that. I believe that's the square root of 16 times square root of 6. Okay, square root of 16 is 4. So this is 4 times square root of 6. So whenever we can, we'll uh, simplify the radical. So this is not too big of a number. It's not so bad. Okay, we'll move on to a slightly different kind of problem. These involve finding the distance between two points. I don't know if you've kind of done this before, but how to find two, the distance between two points in a graph. Um, we're looking for this diagonal distance. Let's see if I can draw it here. It's kind of hard to draw, but from there to there. You can't really use a ruler, so uh, we we'll want to know what that distance is. So I'll call that x. And to find it, we're going to make a right triangle. We're going to connect the points by taking a step to the right, a horizontal step, and a step up. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This side is 5 units long. This side is 3 units long. And the distance between the points is the length of the hypotenuse. Now we just use the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, 3 squared plus 5 squared equals x squared. Um, that's 9 plus 25 equals x squared, or x squared is 34. So we take the square root. x has to be the square root of 34. 34 is not prime, it's even, but 4 doesn't go into it, 9 doesn't go into it, 25 doesn't go into it, 16 doesn't go into it. It's simplified already. Square root of 34 is the exact answer for the distance. So let's try this one. Let's make our right triangle. So I'm going to go to the right, then I'm going to go down like that. Those are the legs, one, two, three, four, five. Very similar to the last one. And this is two, so not exactly the same. Then I'm going to draw the distance here. 
That's what we're trying to find, the distance between the points. Okay, a little bit ragged, but you can see the right triangle there. This is the right angle here. Okay, so here we go. 5 squared plus 2 squared is x squared. So x squared is 29, and x is the square root of 29. 29 is prime. We're done. That can't be simplified. It already is as simple as it gets. Okay, so to find the distance between two points, use the Pythagorean theorem. Make a right triangle on the grid and find the distance. We'll come up with a formula for distance soon. Okay, here's the general assignment already. Uh, for the first one, copy this right triangle in uh, uh, your journal. You're going to find this missing leg here. And uh, simplify your answer as much as possible. Then, this is a little pain to copy, so you don't have to copy this next one. But go ahead and find the distance between these two labeled points. I'll show your work in your journal. All right, see you in class.